Okay, good day. I'm an instructor, Jim Pytel at Columbia Barge Community College's Renewable Energy Technology Program. And this is EET two, uh, so 121. And this lecture is Introduction to Logic Operations. Okay, logic is basically a decision making process. Kin to human reason. And we all know that humans are very reasonable, right? Okay, um, you know, based on you know, certain factual input, you can make a uh, decision. Okay, uh, Mr. Spock is not the guy that invented this. Well, he didn't really invent it yet, but George Boole. Uh, basically, he developed the symbolic manipulation of logic. It's referred to as Boolean algebra. So basically, there's three basic elements or building blocks, and basically all these little three basic elements, you know, combined in certain combinations, can form more co uh, complex systems. So basically, even the most complex system can be broken down into simpler and simpler smarts, simpler and simpler parts, and basically the simplest parts you get is these three uh, three gates here. Um, well, there's three just right now. We're going to the individual three. Okay, basic scheme is got an input or inputs. They go into a gate, and out comes an output or an outputs for more complex gates. Okay, so let's go into three basic elements. Okay, so our three basic gates. First one is a not gates or inverter. How it's drawn, our inputs on the left, the triangle with a circle on it, and our outputs there. So it goes in A, comes out X. And all an inverter does. It just takes A, swaps the uh, the value of it, and then outputs X. So basically, if A is coming in as zero, X is going to come out of one, or comes in low, comes out high. And if A is one, it comes out of zero. So basically, this gate just think is it's a gate to opposite land. Here's you on this side. You go through opposite land. You come out X, and you've got a girlfriend. You're rich and you're good looking. So that's the opposite of you. Just get this. Okay, let's go on to the next gate. Oops, one second, I still have to erase this. Okay, second gate. Second gate is our AND gate. All that looks like, it's going to have two or more inputs, A and B. And it's got like this flattened circle, and it cut up puts an X. Basically, only high if both or all more are high. So basically, A and B, we're going to draw the same thing we did before. X, if A is a 0, and B is a 0, both are low, low. What is X? Well, read up here, only high if both inputs are high. So neither of the inputs are high, so it's also a 0. So 0, 1, A is coming in as a low. B is coming in as a high. Again, only high if both inputs are high, so that's a zero. Same thing for A, B, one, zero, zero. But now, both inputs are high. A and B coming in. Look, here we go. Only high if both inputs are high. There you go. That's an A and gate. Okay, last basic gate is the OR gate. So basically, high. 
any input is high. Okay, so again, or is high if any input is high. And how that one looks is it's got two or more inputs. Okay, I'll kind of just press on the thing, point it out, and that's our output right there. So do the same thing. What comes in, let's pretend A is low, B is low. Okay, so neither input is high, so that's low also. So now it's 0, 1, low, high. And now it says any input is high, so B is high, so that means that's high. 1, 0, again, A is high, B is low, at least one of them is high, so there we go. Now both of them are coming in high, that means X, geez, <laughs> X is coming out um, high. X is obviously coming out high. Okay, so that is the introduction to logic operations. Again, these things are three simple things that are going to be building blocks for more complex systems, which we'll go over.